Well, we're here for another couple of days here in Vegas. I'm waiting right now to uh, check in. It's a little after 1.30, I believe. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm in the like, sports area. Got all these games and TVs to, to watch and things of that nature. Uh, the thing that just annoys me is that here at the Stratosphere, I, uh, I got a complimentary room yesterday. I had a check out this morning. Uh, for the Raider game, great game, Gold Raiders. I'm so glad they won. It made me so happy. But um, after checking out, and then um, me to basically check into another room, uh, they have me on this wait list to get into the room that I have complimentary. And mind you, this is Monday, and they don't have any rooms available until three o'clock. But they do have rooms available that you can upgrade, they call it, for $20, $25, $30. I paid $30 yesterday because I wanted to get all my stuff in my room and go to the game. But today, I'm like, I'm not paying that money. You should have a room ready. It's Monday. I mean, don't get me wrong. Vegas is, you know, a Disney World for kids. But you should be able to have rooms available, especially the comp rooms, at a you know reasonable amount of time. This hotel is not that big to not have rooms available for people that are trying to check in. That's my opinion. Um, but I guess I'm just so annoyed with like some of the customer service I'm seeing around here. And don't get me wrong, people are nice and everything. It's just the idea that you speak to one person about getting a room and they're like, oh no, the room's not available. Understandable. Okay. But why don't you come back around one o'clock? Okay. I go get something to eat. Um, and it's not that I have a lot of bags or anything like that. It's just really annoying to carry. I mean, to be honest, I almost left my, my pro. I did leave my program and I left my phone at two different places and almost lost. Well, I shouldn't say I almost lost because I got them back, obviously, and recording. <laughs> so I didn't lose my phone. But just the idea that because I'm doing all this running around and moving from place to place just to, you know, uh, kill time eating, great. Right? go to the guy oh well the the rooms are not going to be available until about three o'clock to be honest so why would the first guy tell me to come back at one so it's almost like a, a, a not a pressure tactic or scare tactic but it's just like a, it seems like it's a tactic to get you to do this run around and then when you go back to check in at the one o'clock time that the individual that works there tells me to that the other guy tells me no three o'clock is going to be the best time to come in because the rooms are not going to be ready so I'm just annoyed about that, and I'm hoping that uh, I won't lose too much focus because I want to do a couple of different things running around. I want to ship the stuff that I got uh, from the Raider game home because um, I really want to have it with me when I get back. But it was just one of those things that, hey, that I was just like, you really can't give me a room at 1 o'clock on a Monday? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm out. But, hey, thanks for watching. You guys take care. Oh, man. Go Raiders.